Wow. It's so beautiful. Oh. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Do you want to come to the place Wow. It's super. Yeah, I love this city. Actually, I love this country because it has beautiful people that they are so kind. And I'm really thankful of the people that they supported us, they helped us, and the government that we can come safely from Afghanistan to here. And I hope I can start my basketball quick and also Ramesh. I never faced this much uh, worse days, this much problems, never, because I never stand in front of Taliban and I never spoke with them. But when I was in uh, Kabul airport, it happened. And I stand in front of a lot of Taliban and I saw how dangerous they are. And even they don't understand the, uh, what people say. Just they say, no, 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 don't come, don't allow. Just they say what they want. And just they do what they like. They never accept the people. And also, um, I saw that how they were looking at me. They were looking different. That uh, uh, it was like, uh, I'm not a good girl. Or I'm not a good uh, woman that I came out of home and everyone can see me. Even I had uh, everything bad. Living in Afghanistan is not easy, even for a man. If you be a woman, it, the, the challenges come double. And uh, being a woman in a Taliban regime uh, means nothing. You are not part of the society. You are just the one you can stay at home and doing nothing. It means you are not important. You, they think we cannot do anything for uh, future for our country. Even I know they they just know how to destroy the Afghanistan. They can't build. Yeah, I know about this all. Just they injure people. They kill everyone like this. But uh, being a woman in Afghanistan with disability is really tough. It's not easy. In all this uh, time, that uh, the bad memory I had, it was about Taliban because they came, they changed my life, they changed his life. They came and put it a uh, non-stoppable uh, uh, pin in our life, uh, a permanent disability that we will have this in whole life, and we cannot do anything with this. We have to, we have to live. We have to accept this uh, disability.